picked Seattle, especially because I've told these guys for years, Seattle is my favorite city in the whole fucking okay. world. I thought you said Portland was your Shut up! <laughs> Shut up, Lexi. Not until tomorrow! I'm sorry. You probably know this already, but Lexi is pretty fucking stupid. That's why he plays the bass, people. All right? If he was smarter, he'd be a lead singer, right? That's right, right, dude. And if he was like fucking super symmetry smart, he would be a lead fucking guitar player, dude. Okay? The only, thing, the only difference between me and Stephen Hawking is I can walk, bitch. Who's Stephen Hawking? Who's this fucking dude who gets a lot of pussy, bro? Huh? How many guys like pussy? Raise your fucking hands. Let's try that one more fucking time. And this time, even the gay guy needs to raise his hand. How many guys like pussy? Raise your hands! How many guys like chicks with big tits and shit? How many people like to go to the zoo? Hold on. Don't, please do not answer that. You see that over there? Yeah, I did. I saw that. Put it up again let's see some fucking tits. Let's that guy. This, let's get this tour started off on the right foot. Yeah. Show your boobies. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. My God. Sir, it is so nice of you to offer your daughter like that. Uh, uh, That's fucking heavy metal right It now. really is cool. I guess what's going through that guy's head is, shit, it's Steel fucking Panther. They're going to fuck her whatever, whatever I do. It doesn't matter. Right? Right? Bitch, <laughs> dude. Right? I want to introduce you fucking motherfuckers to a motherfucker who's one of the fucking most bitching motherfuckers this motherfucker has ever fucking met, motherfuckers. Okay. You tell him, motherfucker! I'm talking about you, bitch! This fucking guy right fucking here is so fucking heavy metal, dude. He had fucking... He had his first threesome when he was only nine years old, people. With his aunt Shelly and his uncle Ron. He did not like to talk about it, but let me tell you something, dude. He learned a, a couple very, very important things that day. He learned that he loves pussy, dude. Okay? Even when it tastes like an old cheese sandwich. And he also learned that his Uncle Ron really likes to molest young boys, and we're not going to go into that right fucking now, right? Okay, knock it off. We're not going to talk about that. But I'll tell you what, dude, you, you chose the path of fucking pussy, dude. And whenever you chose, you choose... I'm so fucking high right now. This is awesome. Whenever you chose the path of pussy, you also have to chose the fucking path of heavy metal. Because heavy metal and pussy go hand in hand like peanut butter and jelly, all right? Speaking of fucking peanut butter, if you're not getting pussy, I highly recommend putting some peanut butter on your fucking balls and letting the German Shepherd lick it off. It feels fucking good. But we're not talking about German Chefs right now either. What we're talking about is introducing the fucking lead fucking singer, one of the fucking, one of my best friends in the entire band. Really? And I consider you a very, very close friend, dude. Oh, that's bitching. Thanks, dude. And as far as I'm concerned, he is definitely the second most important guy in this fucking outfit. Make some fucking noise for Mr. Michael Stop! God damn, it's good to be in Seattle tonight! You know what, every time we come to Seattle, it's fucking sold out. You guys fucking know what heavy metal is all about. I want to thank you for buying a ticket tonight. My dad used to tell me when I was younger, I'll never forget, we were doing cocaine together. He picked me up from third grade from school, brought me home, we did some blow together, and he looked me right in the eye and said, son, when you grow up, I want you to fucking play heavy fucking metal. I looked my dad in the eye and said, dad, I promise I will always play heavy metal because I love you and I love your free cocaine, dad. Give you free cocaine? Yeah. God, I wish I had a dad like that. And you know what the second thing he told me was, Satchel? What? Just like you were saying, 
Always fuck the bitches after the show, Michael. Yeah! Is your dad like David Lee Roth or somebody? That's awesome. I hope so. Anyways, the last thing my dad said, he said, son, I gotta tell you something really, really even more important than anything I just told you. Don't tell your mom what I touch you sometimes. <laughs> Shut up, Lexi! <laughs> oh my god, how embarrassing. Your dad is so gay, dude. No offense to all the people standing in front of our bass player. It's okay to be gay. Show your tits and show your tits!